speaking to Tony Fair and right in front of you here, I have my um latest trash find. This is a Dell what is it? Dell Vostro four or Vostro four twenty. Um it's fairly nice, I trash picked it. Had a um dead Western Digital Caviar Blue five hundred gig drive in it. Um designed for Windows Vista, screw that. Um Intel Core 2 Quad, so it's a quad core clocked at something, I'll check that, 2.6 maybe gigahertz. Um, it had 4 gigs of DDR2, 800 megahertz RAM in it, but I stuck in the RAM from my old machine, which was 8, meg 8 gigabytes of DDR2, 800 megahertz RAM. So now that's what's going on with this. Even though this machine officially does not support 64-bit operating systems or 8 gigs of RAM, it does in fact work. So if you ever have one of these, it does support it. Well, it doesn't, like, support it, but it can run it just fine with no issues. It's got a really nice graphics card in it. It's a bit old, but it's pretty powerful. Um, NVIDIA GeForce GTS 250. This one's made by EVGA. Uh, requires an external power supply to connect it. And it also has support for SLI, which is really nice. You can just tip this a bit. You can... Here, let me just move this a bit forward so you can see what the card looks like. You can see the fan under there and so much stuff. And then I stuck in, and then it already had a um, wireless card, which has a broken antenna, but it works just fine. Um, and then the main reason why they probably tossed this thing out is the CPU fan. If I were to stop this here, you will see that it's missing a couple blades, but... I screwed it down as tight as possible so it doesn't vibrate at all. Um, just some minor vibrations, but it doesn't make any loud noises, so it's fine. And then I had to replace the um, the rear fan, which was this thing, because it's like it's really sticky, stuck, and it was causing system fan failure. So I'm gonna squirt some WD-40 in that and uh, get that running again, because that's a nice fan. And for in the meantime, I just stuck in one of these. I have a cup. I have two of these cheap Dynex 80 millimeter. 3 pin fans that I bought for some reason or another, but I knew they'd come in handy and they did. Um, but it runs great running Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. And uh, the Windows Experience Index scores are really good. So if I just pull those up real quick and go into, wait for that to, uh, there we go. All right. Let's see what we've got. We've got for processor, we've got a very nice, where is it, where is it, there it is, very nice 7.2, I'm really happy about that. RAM, also 7.2, very nice. Um, graphics 7.0, which isn't bad. Gaming graphics 7.0, which also isn't bad. And hard drive, which is the least, 5.7. If I got an SSD, that would bring the score up. But I do not have an SSD, so that's why. But yep. Yeah. Runs great. Runs games really fast. I just did a fresh install of Windows, so it's got like nothing on it. Um reinstalled Sony Vegas so I can edit stuff. Um but yeah, that's basically it. So this one I might turn into a home theater PC for the area over there, or I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but yeah. Um, I was going to replace the CPU fan with this one from the, that computer, but I realized that this is actually a, a 92 millimeter fan, and the one in there by my foot is an 80 millimeter fan, and it didn't fit. Also, it has a uh, weird 5 pin connector, not 4 pin, so that does not work. But, yeah, I'm probably going to order a new cool for this since it's a standard OGA 775 socket. Also, um, real quick, let me just, um, because I didn't actually show it. Uh, this is a 2.66 gigahertz quad core. Intel Core 2 quad Q9400. So, yeah. That's about it for that. And, um, yeah. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.